Hey everybody, Kevin Oldham, your host, excited to uh, share a conversation with you that I've been having a ton as somebody who is responsible for a lot of companies marketing, and that's around service. So 2023, we're recording in Q1 of 2023, and the macroeconomic uh, picture is just highly unpredictable, okay? And as business leaders, we have to be aware of that. We can't put our head in the sand. Um, as franchisors, we have to realize that you know we're we're basically navigating a couple different things. Number one, uh, we're probably going to have less opportunities around business opportunities. People wanting to buy or license, uh, you know, our franchise system or our licensing system. So I think that there's going to end up being less at bats, less opportunities. So let's kind of put that off to the side on franchise development. At the franchisee level, I think that they're also going to have less at bats. Um, whether you're in a professional services or you're providing a product or whatever it is, you know, everybody's uh, uh, personal pocketbooks are being impacted. So, what does that mean for us as emerging franchisors? If we know that we're going to, or we think that we're going to have less opportunities come to us, we have to bend over backwards to try and make the opportunities that do come to us actually come to light to to materialize right so the number one thing that i want you to think about if you're talking to a prospective franchisee or licensee is the excitement level that you're conveying so if you're on a video call can they see you being excited about the opportunity of working together um can they hear the excitement in your voice? Do they have the confidence that, you're, that you've built a, a solution that is going to help them prosper as, as business owners? Okay. So then think about your franchisee or your licensee's uh, lives and what their lives look like. You know, um, I own a, a chain of smoothie shops, franchise platform. We know that we're probably going to have less people walk in our doors. Okay. And we're a hyper, hyper local model, which means we can't, you know, we can't pull from a higher or larger geographic radius. So what does that mean for us? Number one, we're going to treat those customers. We already treat them really well. We've got a phenomenal team, but the reminder is out there to our team to provide that extra level of service. Okay. But then number two, you know, really the 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 name of the game here is to, if we're going to have less people walking in our doors, is to try to educate them about our other products and services and increase the 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 ticket amount or the lifetime value of the customers that continue to come back. Okay. So th- today's talk is about service. All right. And it's cliche to look at the industry leader, but We'd be shameful not to look at the industry leader. And I believe that the industry leader, when it comes to service, is Chick-fil-A. They talk about the uh, ability to hear people smile through the drive through um, You always hear, it's my pleasure from all of their employees. You have a very, very predictable experience. If you're in the drive through all hands on deck, like you can see and feel and hear that Chick-fil-A cares about you as a customer. Okay, so you don't have to reinvent the playbook, which is awesome. Look at what Chick-fil-A does. Look at their service level. Look at how they communicate and take applicable pieces of what they're doing and incorporate them into your business, not only on the franchise development side, but also and particularly on the consumer side, because the consumer side of the business is probably going to be the thing that gets impacted the most. There are always people starting businesses, no matter what the economic environment is. You just may have to work harder to get those deals done. I think it's going to be more important for those of us who have frontline team members who are working with the public to be all hands on deck, put on your happy face, let people know that it's an honor and a privilege to serve them and continue to do that day in, day out. So really, it comes down to training, right? We have to not only train the people that we work with at the franchisor level, but we also have to train our franchisees. And then we have to give them the tools so that they can train their, 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 basically the people that are interacting with, with your customers. That move alone, first of all, I think everybody should be doing it all the time. So I'm somebody who believes in high service and I, and I deliver high service, like in everything I do. If you look at your organization and realize that that maybe 
your your team members or your franchisees aren't delivering that same level of service that you as the founder of the company or the CEO of the company or somebody who's in charge of running the company seeks to have trickled down to your organization, make that a priority for 2023. Make that a priority for right now. So until next time, thank you for listening. The number one thing you can do to support our new show is hit subscribe, leave a review. Um, that type of stuff really, really helps us. And then maybe just share this episode with one person whose life might be impacted by it. Till next time.